Hey, what's happening guys? I've just got a really quick one for you today on using the real-time clock built into the Arduino R4 Wi-Fi. Now, we did a video on this before where we used the real-time clock and we had it appear here on this LED matrix, which I'm liking less and less. I mean, it's cute, but as an information display, meh. So that's why I've got the OLED going here and it is showing our current time it is uh, 2024 to 27 at 0530 in the morning. And that time is now in the real time clock. So if I had external power on the real time clock here, we could shut the Arduino off. It'll remember that. But in this case, it doesn't matter because what I'm doing is I'm reaching out on the Internet since we have the ESP32 here and have Wi-Fi capability to a uh, NTP time server. That's a network time pool that is available out there on the internet. So it is grabbing the current time from there, taking that, converting it over to regular time that we can read, setting the real time clock. And then as you can see, well, maybe you can see, I don't know. Go focus. There you go. You can see it just showing the the time there. All right. Let's go over to the computer, and I'll show you how the code works. It's pretty simple. So here's my code. This is the Uno R4 Wi-Fi. Get NTP and set RTC. Um, this is originally, I got the NTP from uh, a library by uh, Sebastian Romero. And then I adapted it to do what I want, and you are free to use this code however you want. So we're going to need a few libraries here. Uh, first we're going to need is the RTC library. That is the real-time clock library. And if you have downloaded the Arduino IDE 2. Point blah, 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 or whatever, or have installed the R4 board definitions into an older version of the IDE, you have this library. Next is the NTP client library. You may have to download that one. You can do that, you know, right from your uh, library manager. You can just come up here and say <clears throat> NTP client. And then, did I spell it wrong? Yep. NTP client. There you go. It'll search it. Uh, if you don't have it, you can click the install button. You know, nothing to it really. All right, we're also going to need wire. That's our I squared C driver for the OLED screen. And then these two Adafruit libraries I'm using to drive the OLED screen. Now, this is telling it, I don't know why, uh, two different types of boards Arduino Portenta and the R4 Wi Fi. It does the same thing with both of them. It just sets the Wi-Fi S3 library, so, you know, whatever. We're also going to need Wi-Fi UDP and ArduinoSecrets.h. Now, ArduinoSecrets.h is a simple little file that just contains two lines come on, to set your uh, secret SSID and secret password. You could also just put them right here if you wanted to. Next, we're going to look at the Wi-Fi status and find out if it is running and to come up with a package over UDP. Then we have print Wi-Fi status. This, this is just checking the, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi that makes sure it's up and running. Then we're going to print your local IP. We're going to print your signal strength. Uh, this is where it connects to Wi-Fi. This is where it's checking your firmware version. These are all part of that NTP library, or the uh, real-time clock library. So now we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. If it doesn't, it's just going to stop the program. If it does, it connects. Now we move on down here to our setup. We have serial begin at 9600 for comms. We're going to connect actually to the Wi-Fi. We're going to start the real-time clock. Then we have time client begin and time client update. These are our commands that are helping us to understand the NTP client. Now, 
if you are unfamiliar with network time protocol. Network time protocol is very old. From the barely from the 1970s, almost from the 1960s. It actually starts on January 1st, 1970, and it simply counts seconds to today. That's what network time protocol is. It's also known as Unix time or Epoch time, Epic time, whatever you want to call it. I just call it NTP, network time protocol. And it's out there on the internet um, for free. All you have to do is grab it. Always know what time it is. So we'll get our time, blah, blah, blah. Now we come down here to the part where we start to set up the display. So this is just checking to make sure that it's actually there and plugged in. Then we say display, display, show it's in the buffer, clear the display. Now the program is ready to roll. And this is the actual program. All this stuff up here was set up. Here's the actual program. Pardon me. My mouse is misbehaving this morning. Maybe it's too early for the mouse. I don't know. Anyway, so we have real-time RTC, get real-time, right there. Then we're going to set our text size for one. Our color is white. It doesn't matter, but, I mean, that's just the way it's listed in the example. Display print this string. This string is current time. Where does current time come from? It comes from our real-time clock, get current time. Now, one thing I wanted to show you right up here is the conversion. So right here we have get the current time and date from the MTP server and convert it to UTC plus 2. In fact, well, that was for wherever Sebastian lives. I don't live where Sebastian lives. I live in Eastern Standard Time. So for me it's minus 5. And you can look that up. Whatever your thing is off of uh, the time zone. So auto. Unix time equals time client get epoch time plus time zone offset hours times 3600 and that'll break everything down for you get us our unix time blah 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 blah. all right so i'm going to uh plug in the board here we'll come down here to the serial monitor you can see it's starting connection to the server here oh, i think that was no one here we go okay attempting connect to ssid come on connect can take a minute or so. There we go. Connected to the Wi-Fi. There's our address. Connecting to the server. Real-time clock is now set to 5.28.38 a.m. 5.28. Yep, that's right. And, uh, you know, you've already seen the example on the board, so that's how we do that. So you've got an understanding of how the code works now. It's not too bad. Um, take a look here at our connections. They're pretty simple. We take 5 volt and ground to power the OLED, and then uh, our data SDA goes to A4, and our clock goes to A5. That's all there is to it, and you plug them in and you match them up up there. So tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this here. I'm going to press the reset button on the board. Doop. And I'm gonna sh I, what I want you to see is, whoops, this actually takes a good minute or so before it's going to reset and you'll, you'll oh, there it goes well that actually went faster what i was getting at is it takes a few seconds to connect to your network find the network time pool server reach out get the time converted and then show it but once you've done that you now have time stored in the arduino current time stored in the arduino for as long as you give it power so i guess the real question becomes how accurate is it? Well, I wrote this code on the 24th. Today is the 27th. I let it run for two days. I've reset it a couple times as I'm showing you the program this morning. And it seems to be off by about two seconds per day, which is not great. Hardware issue, software issue. I would lean towards the software issue, but I'm not really sure. That's a, out of the current scope of my knowledge. But it does work. It will give you time. It won't be the most accurate time. And it's real simple to convert it over to uh, time that we can read instead of a cumulative uh, sum of the seconds since January 1st, 1970, when I would have been um, just about to turn a year old. 
So guys, that's what I got for you today. Still having some fun with the new Arduino. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys watching. Uh, if you're not yet a patron, patron, check out the patron page, uh, www.patreon.com slash learnelectronics. You can become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. And on March 29th of this year, 2024, we are going to be giving away a Unity uh, 60 megahertz function arbitrary waveform generator. That will be model UTG. 962e all patrons are automatically entered into this drawing now because of the debacle of my hundred thousand subscriber drawing where i got privacy complaints for announcing people's uh, emails and stuff i almost got a strike on the channel for that i haven't done a giveaway since then and i swore i wouldn't i won't do another open giveaway this is uh just for the patrons and it's open worldwide and i put a post up about it on the patron page so if you are a patron and you've seen that, just make sure if you don't want to be involved, you don't want your email or your patron handle being announced, you need to opt out. If you don't opt out, you're going to be in the drawing. It's going to be a live stream on March 29th at 1700 EST. That's it. I'm out. Peace.